Oh hey, Professor Petrie and I are just taking a break from science in order to play some soccer. Since there isn't any school today, he said he could come and help us out. Hey folks, happy to be here. Professor Petrie and I are big soccer fans and love to try to find ways to get better at the game. Are you ready to learn some science and learn how to improve your game? Let's, Let's go! go! Have you ever wondered what happens when two things collide? Colliding or collision describes two things coming into contact with one another. Luckily, we have Professor Petrie here to help. We'll use their help to assist us when making predictions about energy transfer. Did you notice the difference between his two kicks and the distance the ball traveled? Let's try that back in slow motion. Professor Petrie slowly kicked the ball. Whoa! Did you see how far back his leg was and how fast he moved? This action transferred a lot of energy to the ball, which is why it moved fast and far. Remember, when two objects come together at a higher speed, it's called a collision. When that collision happens, energy is transferred. Since you provided a lot of energy to be transferred, the ball had a lot of energy to go fast and far. Well, how can we improve our game? Energy is present whenever there are moving objects, sound, light, or heat. When objects collide, energy can be transferred from one object to another, thereby changing their motion. The greater energy provided in my collision caused more energy to be transferred to the object. So this tells me that if I want to make a goal from really far away, I need to kick the ball as hard as I can. This same concept can be applied to other sports as well. Are you ready for another game? Yes, we better go test out our new skills. Thanks for learning with us today, everyone. We'll see you on the field.